Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here today hey folks today I'm gonna to try something I've never tried before and if it turns out good this will become a video so if you're watching this you know that it must have turned out pretty good we have uh, we got a room here that we've actually got paneling in here and we're painting the paneling uh, we have two coats of kills two on here to hold down any type of stain that would bleed through into our paint now we have this window here as well and and I don't think it's been painted since it was originally put in here, but it looks like it was stained, you know, with a brown stain of some sort. So we definitely want to block that off. Now, I didn't want to have to hand paint all these little panes here, okay? So what I decided to do, kills, actually kills one, I guess. This is the oil base. It comes in a spray can, okay? So I'm going to put me a coat or two of kills over all this so I got good coverage and everything. And then, actually, I decided to go ahead, we're painting all of our trim uh, bright white anyway, like a semi-gloss white. So I bought a can of semi-white paint. Hang on, just wait, let me find the paint and I'll show, them, show it to the good people. We got just some Rust-Oleum, semi-gloss, enamel, spray paint. Then we're going to paint all the panes and everything with that as well. Now I'll come back in on the outside trim and actually paint it with the regular latex so it matches any other trim that might be in the room. But if the color of the white is a little bit off, it's not gonna matter anyway because we're probably gonna have curtains put up here anyway. So guys, stay with me here. Let me set this back down and I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying a little bit and we'll see how this is working out. Okay, before I start spraying this, I just wanna talk a little bit about what I did for the windows. We took a two inch wide masking tape and just taped up these panes really good. And actually that takes less time than actually painting each one of these and trying to keep it off of the glass. So with a razor blade and a roll of two inch wide tape, you can have this taped up just like this and you know, probably 40 minutes or so you can knock this out. So let's go ahead and start spraying and let's just see how this is doing. And what we're looking for here is just coverage, okay? We don't want to get super big build up of paint to where we get runs we just want good coverage over everything to where it holds down anything that can bleed out of that, that stained surface okay so we're going to go around and go ahead and continue painting and we'll get good coverage on all this before we actually put the enamel on Okay guys, I got one full coat over everything and it actually covered really well on the first coat. I'm going back now just with a light second coat, making sure I cover everything again. And then I think this, uh, we'll let it sit for about an hour and then we'll go ahead and paint the enamel on there. All right, we've got our primer on there. We've waited an hour and we're getting ready to put, put down some uh, Rust-Oleum, semi-gloss, enamel, and the color of white, okay? Now, guys, if you wanted to, if you're, at the, from this point right here, if you wanted to go ahead and brush on a particular trim color of your choosing or whatever, you could. I think this is still a good idea just to get your primer on, you know? But we're gonna go ahead and keep going with the speed of this. Because I'll tell you what, cutting in all these little things, this here is a nightmare, okay? I don't know if you've ever done it before, but you never, with a brush, you never can get a really strong coat. You'll end up coating it two or three times just to get it look right. But with spray paint, it's just going to go in there nice. So we're getting ready to get started here, and then we will have, um, show you what it looks like. I do recommend wearing a dust mask. Kind of keep, some of, keep from breathing some of the uh, paint fumes in and the particles. So we're going to go ahead and start. We'll just start right over here. Looks like it's going on nicely. We just have to keep track of where we're at since we're putting white right over top of white. Make sure we get everything covered good. All 
All right, guys, I got a smile on my face because this has turned out incredible. I'm very happy at this. We got a nice semi-gloss finish on here. I put two coats of the paint on there and we are done, okay? We'll untape our windows tomorrow. So guys, I, I, this is, you know, I'm sure other people have probably done this before. Um, and this first time I've ever tried it. And I, the reason I did was because I knew I was dealing with a window that had stain on it. And I didn't want to have to brush you know, one coat of kills on there and then come back with at least two coats of uh, uh, latex and hope that I didn't have any bleed through. But this turned out phenomenal. There's not an excessive amount of buildup on it, so I think the window should just break, you know, pop right loose tomorrow, which is another thing that you run into when you use latex paints to paint windows. You gotta be real careful around your edges and everything or you'll end up taping your window shut, okay? So I think we should, that shouldn't even be a problem. But this uh, turned out incredible. I'm very tickled to death with this, guys. Thank you for watching the video today. I hope you find this helpful. I hope you maybe try this yourself sometimes. Uh, only two things that I would um, recommend, make sure you wear that dust mask, maybe safety glasses. I had some readers on. And also try to ventilate the room that you're, uh, we had a couple fans pushing, pushing the paint fumes out the door. So definitely do that so you don't become overcome with uh, toxic fumes. All right, guys, thanks again for watching the video. We'll see you next time. Take care.